you. a chance to see Pink on the American Music Awards last year. Because Pink's known for doing death-defying stunts. We do it in shows all the time. But that performance was extraordinary. She was suspended from a 40-story building in downtown Los Angeles, 200 feet above the ground, doing aerial ballet against the building, singing live without a net. Hello. While us mere mortals watched from the comfort of the street below. But she had rehearsed it for a week, and she rehearses all these things. And after a while, the fear just goes away. So I asked her, at what point did the fear go away when you did that presentation? And she said, at no point. I was scared the entire time. But I did it anyway, because that's just who I am. Because for the top performers, it is who we are. I don't just play the drums, I am the drums! I don't just give a speech, I am the speech! What about you? Who are you? Who do you want to be? Because I am also a cancer survivor. Thank you. And as a result of my cancer, my doctor told me my ability to father a child was nearly impossible. So I believed him. I took on that limited viewpoint. And then I met Lisa in 2006. And in 2008, we got married. And she was determined that I would father her child. And against all odds, in 2009, she got pregnant. And in 2010, she gave birth to my beautiful one and only child, my baby girl, Zaid. Thank you. She's eight years old now. So I know fear. And I know excitement. And I've come to learn that the chemistry in the body for fear and excitement is identical. They're like flip sides of the same coin. The only difference is our perception. So I know that we have the possibility to flip fear into excitement. And I also know we have the possibility of doing it in spite of the fear. Because the future belongs to the bold. Yes. And this organization is bold. This organization is powerful. This organization is you. So please remember who you are. Thank you, everybody.